On this episode of Pin My Setup, I'm going to be taking a look at setups you submitted for tips, tricks, feedback, and much more. So if you're interested in that, sit back, relax, and interact because the show starts now. It's time for the original setup show dedicated to providing you with tips, tricks, and feedback to pimp out your setup. Hosted by Thomas Philly with new special guests every week. Coming at you live in three, two, one. Welcome to Pin My Setup, episode number 202, recorded live on March 9th, 2017. My name is Thomas Philly. You can find me on Twitter at Thomas Philly. And today is the final episode of Tom Takeover. Matt will be returning Sunday. And uh, yeah, well, he'll be returning for Sunday's episode. He's coming back actually tomorrow night. So that's pretty cool. So if you guys didn't like me as a host or just want Matt's, Matt back, he will be back uh, for Sunday's episode. Um, we got, we're booked up to episode, I think, two, uh, 323 now. And uh, if you want to buy a fast pass, skip the line, $25. Uh, Set up Addicts Facebook group, you know what to do. Um, and yeah, discord.gg slash Matt if you want to join the cool chat with all the cool people. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, and yeah, I'll try to do it quick as possible so we get right into the show. And that's what we will do. First setup of the day submitted by Andrew. Andrew is 16 years old. He's been a YouTuber for three years, self-taught GFX design and video editing. His YouTube channel is Andy Games with a Z, YT. Um, currently gaming on a ma- uh, notebook, but hopefully soon we'll upgrade to a gaming desktop from my buy power. Well, uh, this was back in October. He did not submit any updated photos, so he said that he was going to buy a gaming desktop, and it's been like nearly i don't even know how many months like maybe four or five or something like that and he never sent updated photos so i'm guessing that he probably never got the uh the gaming pc what can we say about the setup i mean yeah laptop powered setup you know what can you say about it uh you got the monitor off to the right it's like i feel like i don't know how usable that is i know i understand you want it out of the way so you can use your laptop as your primary screen but i feel like it's just out of the way i feel like moving it closer you saw the room, like the you know, move around and all that, and the it's just like a very uh, weird setup because it's like the mouse pad seems like it's from like early two thousand. A lot of like the area, it just seems like it's an early like a like an old setup to say the least. Um, let me see. This next photo actually shows off the shelving unit over there. I think that's just messy as hell. It's it, what it comes down to is you need to maybe just clean that up and put on like I like the Coke uh, uh, glass like bottles and all that, but. Uh, it's like, I feel like you could organize that a little better. It just looks like you just threw all that stuff on. Um, and there's a tripod there. I don't it, it just, it seems like a weird spot to have your tripod too. Um, there's no really theme to it. Like there comes down to like a, a thing where it's like, what is your theme? Like, yeah, you like Coke. Um, but, and then you got this, I think this written nerds chances are you, I don't even know. It's just like, it's such a weird piece of paper to have on your wall. Um, yeah. Four by three monitor. I feel like it's here. It's time to upgrade. It's 2017. You can upgrade to a, a decent monitor for a decent price, even if you find one on the Craigslist or like eBay or something like that. Um, but like upgrades, I wish you got that gaming PC because then I could see what you're like, you know, what you're gonna do next. But I, putting the gaming PC maybe once you get it like off to the left side, um, I don't know if it would, you know, be covering the the calendar. But I don't know. It just it looks like a very old setup. I don't know if you guys agree. Yeah, if Matt was here, he'd probably get roasted. But I don't know. It's like it seems like yeah, he he's getting uh, he's working with what he has and all that. But uh, we can't really see cable management. You can see some stuff down there. It looks like it's a little dirty. I wish he like cleaned that up. It looks like there's like a bag on the floor. It looks like underwear bag. You know, like that six pack bag of underwear. It looks like that's on the floor. Um, but there's not really much else to say. I wish he updated the photos because I, I I think when I uh, accepted this setup, I wish like I just knew that he needed to change it up in order to get a good score, and he uh, he just didn't change it up, and it sucks. But uh, Andrew, you know, you did what you could, and uh, that's it. Uh, let's go to the next setup of the day, submitted by Brandon. Brandon is 19 years old. He had just started his second year of college back in October, so he's probably nearing the end right now. Um, for uh, he's going to school for biotechnology, advanced DNA forensics. That is crazy. Um, he enjoys using a setup for productivity and gaming. He cannot lower the shelf uh, yeah, up there. There's Rubik's Cubes on it. He cannot lower that shelf with the Rubik's Cubes because he's renting the room and is not allowed to install shelving above head level or below head level. So he cannot move that shelf, and it is very high, as you can tell. Um, it's still cool, though. I like the Rubik's Cubes on it. I think that's that's a cool little addition, and you're using the shelf for, you know, you know, best best of your ability, basically. I love the John Stockton jersey, too. I kind of wish it was framed, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. Um, the setup itself, 
Very clean, like out of sight, out of mind. Great job. I mean, over there, I think those are candles and, you know, controller stand. It's off to the side. It's not in your way of, you know, using your setup. So I think you did a great job there. Micro arms off to the side. Great job. Um, there's a pop vinyl, I think, or it's a, some sort of action figure of, I think, Vegeta, which is pretty cool. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like the monitors are very low. Like, yeah, they're way too low. I think some people are saying in chat right now, they're really low. And he's got the perfect amount of room. I, the only thing is, I don't think he can um, drill anything to the wall. Like you're saying, he can't put anything below head level. So I don't know if he can get like a mount, mount to the wall. Maybe he can get a mount to a desk because uh, I just don't know with how he place it with the clamp. Because I think the back has that back panel, and I don't think there's any lip for him to, you know, attach it to. But I think getting a, like a, a a wall mount or you know a monitor mount in any sort, I think it would be like ideal. Because um, those are very low. I feel like they're not the best uh, usability, uh, say at least. Because I feel like your your basically your keyboard's like right up against it too. It's just I feel like getting a mount would definitely help. Um, yeah. And it's got no height adjustment, so there's really nothing you can do there. Just getting a mount would definitely help. Um, about around the whole setup, yeah, it's like empty, like you know, below the Rubik's cube shelving. But uh, maybe adding something there because you have the John Saxon jersey. Maybe because if you're the fan of you know Utah Jazz, get something like a little like canvas poster to go above it. Um, yeah, but he's got a fridge. That's cool. I like the white. It's like it's like all white basically. It's very nice. Um, it's very simple overall. It's like he's got the shelving on it. I love this little shelving unit down here. I don't know if it's a part of the desk or it's like a separate piece that was added, but I love the little shelving and I love how he fit everything in there. Yeah, there's a box over there, but he's using that as like a headphone stand basically. Maybe moving a head like headphone stand like up on top of the desk would be more usable, but I don't know. I think I, I think he did a great job hiding everything. Cable management is great to say the least. I mean, you can see I don't I think that's like a power brick or something like that going down there. I think he did a great job overall. That white PC, I just realized that. That's a very nice white PC. A lot of white stuff. I like I like I like, you know, keeping with the theme uh overall. Why is like twenty uh one pilots? Oh is, is that twenty one pilots? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, yeah, he's got CDs, those are CDs, okay. That's weird, but I think he likes probably music and he just you know, this is how he displays it. I think he did okay job. Those are drumsticks, I believe. That's cool. I mean, that's different. You don't see that every day, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, like I said, very simple. Uh, monitor mount, I think, is really the only thing you, uh, you need to add. Maybe a little more theme, and you should be good. I mean, this setup is nearly complete. Great job, Brandon. Um, great job. Uh, let's go to the next setup of the day, submitted by Brett. Brett is 19 years old. He lives in Arizona and has currently two jobs. One as a skateboarding instructor and the other one as an, uh, at In-N-Out -Out Burger. Um, he uses his setup mostly for gaming, but also for homework and stuff since he's in his second year of college too. Um, he plans on adding some more LEDs behind the desk in the future. Now I believe these are just the only photos he had to begin with. And there's three photos, uh, three photos to work with. So we got this straight on, you know, Showing off, you know, the cable management, you know, great job in the cable management. I think there's a photo for cable management, but this is a great, you know, first shot. Then we got a, a shot showing above, showing off the posters, which I think is cool. They're like maps and all that. And he's got like a theme there, you know, maps, you know, that's cool. Like, I, I like the maps. Uh, I mean, I wish they were kind of framed, but I understand not having them framed. And then we got this last photo showing the cable management, which he did a great job with. You know, everything's managed underneath the desk, going across, headphone stand, headphone holder at least. Um, that's cool. And I, I love how he has the gaming rack off, or that little rack off to the side to put his PC. If he were to try to put it uh, you know, on his desk, he would have no room whatsoever. And I feel like that's a great little addition to the setup. It's not you know the, the greatest looking thing ever, but I think it, he does a great job using it. Um, this setup is really good. Like usability, I think it's great. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of how like the TV would look. I, I'm pretty sure it's a TV, but I was trying to think of how it would uh, you know look sitting down at the desk. I think it'd be fine. Um, you know, uh, you know, usability looks great to say the least. I love the little side pieces. I think it's like a Aztec statue of some sort. I, like I don't even know what those things are, but they're not over the top. Um, but I like that. Uh, yeah, order here. I don't know. Uh, I guess he maybe took it from In and Out or something like that. But that's cool. You know, it's not in the way of anything, um, and it adds the theme in, in that aspect. But you know, it's very clean. Like you know, vacuum floor is always nice. Um, yeah, framing the posters, I think, would be, you know, ideal because a nice black frame to go with the desk and all that, I think it would look really nice. He's got the skateboard with, like, hentai or whatever. That's cool. I mean, like, it's not in the way, once again, and it adds the theme. So, great job overall. Um, he said he was going to add LEDs behind the desk, but he didn't update his photo. So, he has the LEDs behind his monitor, which is a nice touch. 
maybe adding more LEDs would definitely add like more to this setup. But I think it's just overall a really great job. He did a really good job. Uh, it's not really a lot of critiques. Uh, get a guitar stand. That's true. Yeah, guitar stand. Uh, yeah, you would think with you know him liking music and all that, get a guitar stand and have that in the corner. That's a great job. Um, yeah, trying to look uh, look at that the TV tilt though. Yeah, I think it's enough uh, tilt to the TV to have it like usable for the most part. Um, yeah, overall great job. There's really not much else to say. You did you know themes there, usabilities there. It's just a clean looking setup overall. So great job, Brett. Really nailed it. Subwoofers over there. I don't think it's really matters the placement of it as long as it's underneath you. So yeah, let's go to the next setup of the day. Submitted by Mitchell. Mitchell is 18 years old. He's a gamer and editor for his YouTube channel called Atomic Toast Cat, which is a very unique name. He knows he needs a uh, boom arm for the Yeti, and he knows that we hate bu uh, blue Yetis, or Matt does at least, but he got the Yeti for so cheap, he's not complaining. So the reason he has that blacked out Yeti is because he got it for super cheap, and he's like, you know, might as well you know, stick with it. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, like, hey, if you get it for supremely cheap, like, why not, you know, just stick with it for the time being until, you know, you can upgrade. Um, this setup's not the best quality. It's kind of like like the camera quality is not the best, so it makes the setup look like dirty in that aspect. But at the same time, it's it's clean. Um, let's look at his cable management. You know, before anything, he did a great job. But you know, like like there's really not much else you can do. You have it like the cables going you know through the signum to go uh, behind that bin. Like what else can you really do? Um, you know, that garbage can seen better days. It, it's not. The prettiest looking garbage can, but you know he's using what he has, and that's all you can really do about it. Um, going back to you know the setup itself, uh, in the shelving off to the right, there's like the the wooden shelving. He's got a bunch of like theme going on, but it seems like just a little bit out of place. Um, there's a lot of cars and like little like miniature cars and all that. It just seemed like messy in that aspect. Uh, I didn't really show it because it just it really didn't add much to the setup, but we just know that that's there. Um, yeah, this out of sight of mind is kind of like killing me a little bit. I I understand you lift and all that, but the whey protein should not be on the desk. Um, you have a bin, maybe get another bin for, you know, next to it because I feel like it wouldn't mess up with your usability. Um, but monitor placement's fine. I think it looks like he has that the right display, you know, for his primary, and then off to the left, you know, is for whatever his secondary display. But uh, is that a coaster? Uh, guys in chat, tell me if that's a coaster, because that's a weird coaster. I've never seen a rectangle coaster before, but uh, I think the drink might fall off, you know, <laughs> if that's the case. There's no speaker, so I did take off a point for accessories. Matt always does, so I thought I'd do the same, but, you know, he has a headphone. The headphone stand is on, I think it's on the monitor. I mean, not the best spot, but, you know, he's using the space uh, properly. Um, personality theme, yeah. Besides having the stuff on the shelf, which you can't really see, there's not a lot to it. There's nothing on the wall, from what we can tell. Um, maybe adding some stuff like you like cars like we can obviously tell with the the wallpaper Why don't you show off your cars on a shelving or you know poster or a canvas? You know, you know try to think of something be like unique It's something that we've never seen before maybe a big fathead of like your favorite car I don't know what car that is to be exact um, But yeah, maybe something like that. That'd be pretty cool um, But yeah overall simple setup it can be better I think maybe getting something uh, for the shelves like the, the bins. I mean um you can kind of see all the garbage that's inside. I'm not garbage to say, but you can kind of see, and it kind of you know adds a little sour taste in your mouth. Um, maybe getting something to cover that up, like if that's even just like getting like construction paper, like black construction paper, and just you know folding it in like inside the little slot. That'd be you know enough. Uh, the fan is. I think it's very smart to have that clamp with the fan. I think it's hitting them probably directly, and that's a that's a great touch. I like that little touch. It's white, which is kind of making it like stand out, but I think it's fine. Um, but, you know, overall, okay job. Okay job, Mitchell. Let's go to the next setup of the day, though, submitted by Eris. Eris is 18 years old. He uses this setup mainly for schoolwork and a little bit of gaming, since it's not a gaming PC. So he doesn't have a gaming PC, just has a normal PC. Uh, doesn't have a lot of time to get a job due to school and volunteering. Um, so he's got a lot of time, you know, dedicated to that. He has, an up he has updated his monitor. His monitor was 4x3 before, so he did update his monitor. And uh, let me see. And there's nothing you can do about the walls because, as you can tell, he's probably in like a, a garage or like a basement of some sort. From where we can see, the walls are just not pretty at all. And it kind of adds this grungy look to the setup, which is not really working in his favor, to be honest. Sometimes it works, but the walls are just so messed up. It makes the setup look dirty. And like the dirty is not the correct word. I, I, I mean, I'm just trying to think of a word that could relate to it. But 
um, looking at this photo, you know, straight on, it's like, yeah, the cables are there and all that, but usability is fine. He's got this little, I don't even know what that is. Maybe it's something from school or something like that. But um, looking at the second photo shows off his cable management. And there's a little shelving uh, thing that's seen better days. Like, you couldn't cr- close the drawer for the photo. It's it's whatever. And it looks like he has a console of some sort or something like that, DVD player. I don't even know. But uh, I wish I was kind of on the desk. I oh, know. I just realized, oh, my God. I just realized that the, that desk is warping more than a, oh, my God, like more than a surfboard. Does anybody else see that? Oh, my. I literally did not even notice that until I just looked at this uh, the photo now. Oh, God. That's not good. I wish you got a new desk. Or I don't even know. It just desk is not working. And I understand you don't have a lot of money to work with, but that sucks. That sucks with the desk. I mean, you got a, a nice PC from the looks of it um, on a, a wooden slab of some sort, which is nice, you know, not having it on the carpet. But damn, that desk. That desk is not uh, not looking too good. And he doesn't, like I said, he doesn't have accessories. He doesn't have speakers. He doesn't have headphones from the look of it. He just has, you know, probably just his monitor. And, you know, that's the sound he gets it from. So, you know, accessories g- took a hit. Not a lot of theme personality. Yeah, he's got to, like a little car, and like I think that's like a little poster. Doesn't you know theme? There's nothing you know nothing there. Yeah, it touched the slightest bit and it breaks holy. Yeah, I think if he put his PC on the desk, it probably would have snapped. Um, I, it's a tough room to work with. I like when I uh, accepted the setup, I just didn't know whether or not he could do much to it to make it look pretty, um, but. Maybe you got just something like curtains, like to go behind the desk, because I'm pretty sure this desk is not connected to the wall. Maybe you just get something to drape along the back to cover this, you know, area, because it's not the prettiest. Um, yeah, I feel bad for him too. I mean, he's obviously, you know, he's, he's f- spending work on like volunteering and doing school and all that, so it's not his primary uh, focus to, you know, improve his setup. He's just doing what he can with what he has, and you know, it's overall, it's a setup. It's that's what it comes down to. It's a setup. Uh, let's go to the next setup of the day, though, submitted by Brian. Brian is 21 years old. He works as a server and goes to school for cosmetology. He cleaned up most of the desk space, but he deliberately left some of the stuff not to romanticize of what it would look opposed to if he were to look uh, do it on a daily basis. So he's not going to be like, oh, I'm taking this stuff off because this is what he wants to show. He wants to show how he uses it on a daily basis. And I think that's a, that's a bold thing to do. I, I really do appreciate it, though. Um, we got, I think, two photos to work with. This is a closer up. This closer up makes it seem very, very crazy. Like, and like not to say that this photo isn't crazy, but like close up, you know, this is how he's using his setup. There's a lot going on. I mean, to say the least, um, a lot of systems, the speakers. I think that's his subwoofer. If I don't say so myself, I think that's a subwoofer. I don't think that's the greatest spot for it. But, you know, speakers are there. I think those speakers are fine and all that. Just a, it's a lot going on just in this little part itself. Um Going further back, you know, to show off more of the area, the cable management from what we can see. Are those monitor stands down there? Oh, dude. Okay. Uh, monitor stands, like, you could have just moved them out for the photo. I understand you're not using that for on a day-to-day basis. So why don't you, like, just not have those there? Um, but cable management seems to be, you know, a little bit iffy on some points, you know, behind, uh, you know, the consoles and all that. And down there, too, and off to the right. There's a lot going on, you know, above, too, with theme. Yeah, I love the theme. I love everything going on. I just feel like it's a lot. And some people would be like, oh, I think it's fine. It's adding, you know, to the, the, the uniqueness of the setup. Um, I think you, there's, a, uh, there's a better way to display all this stuff. I feel like he probably got all this stuff and he just kept adding on top of it and all that. Um, but, I mean, I would, you know, maybe if you want to, I don't know how much time you have, maybe start like taking the stuff down and maybe rearrange it in a way that makes it look nicer. But then again, it's not like you're trying to impress everybody in the world. This is how you use your setup. This is how you like your setup. You don't have the biggest room in the world. You know, it's okay. It really is. Um, get some storage. Yes, that's that's a good uh, that's a good idea. So it looks like underneath he has like, like he has a bunk bed. So that's how, he, you know, that's how he sleeps and all that. But it looks like he has room underneath there for storage. And it seems like he has storage underneath there. So maybe adding more storage and then putting some stuff away would make it look cleaner. But then again, he's using this day-to-day basis. This is how he uses it. Um, it's very, uh, you know, very cluttered to say the least. And people are saying, I don't know where the, the flashlight is. I really don't. I, there's a flamingo of some sorts. Is that a flamingo? Um, but I'm not seeing what you guys are seeing unless, you know, unless I'll see it later in like post and like editing or something like that. But I'm not seeing where, uh, where you guys are getting it from. Um, he's 21. 
Yeah, storage unit on the bed uh, would be ideal. And, you know, it's got to clean up. Clean up, to say the least. Uh, yeah, but that's basically it. It's just, you know, cleaning up and just making it look pretty. But then again, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And we understand that. Um, let's go to the next setup of the day, though. Submitted by Raymond. Raymond is 14 years old. He uses this setup for listening to music, web browsing, and gaming. In his free time, he likes hanging out with friends, playing video games, listening to records, and learning about cars. So he's got that uh, that you know record player over there. That's cool. The, you know the records off to the side. You know this is a very like the desk. I just don't think ever works. <laughs> to be honest, like it's not the prettiest desk uh, to work with. But you know he's, he's using what the desk uh, has and all that with the shelving and all that. Um, you know, off to the right, it's cluttered too. It's like, there's just a lot going on. Once again, it's another setup where if this stuff was like tucked away or just like hidden with shelving, uh, with storage, it would look way better. But uh, it kind of draws away, everything that's around the setup draws away from the actual setup itself, which is not bad. It's like really not that bad. You know, you got straight on, you know, monitor, you know, keyboard and all that. The only thing I would say about usability for the setup is that this uh, thing down here. He did send updated photos this morning, getting rid of the trash can, so that's no longer there. But that PC, I think, I think is in your way. Like, wouldn't it be in your way when you're like, like you know, put your feet down? Maybe if you have it in the middle, then your legs off to the side, um, it should be fine. But it's tough, you know. Uh, the desk doesn't really help you in this uh, this case. But you know, overall, like usability is fine for the most part. Um, just the stuff around you seems a lot, but it's really not. Um, it's like I think the Xbox is connected, if I if I remember correctly. Um, so that's a cool spot to put it, you know, because you don't have room on the desk for it. But like I said, there's a lot going on. He doesn't have a headphone stand. Yeah, he has it propped up on the little shelving, but it's like not the not the. I, I think it would fall over after a while. Just 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 thinking, you know, logically. Um, that he's got the. I think that's a drink up there, along with like uh, trophies and all that. That's cool. I think that's fine. Um, I think this place is fine too. It just it just looks messy. That's the only thing. Yeah, if he angles the PC, it, it wouldn't be. In, yeah, if you put it right in the back, you wouldn't be touching it at all. I don't think. Um, but yeah, he needs more sharpies. That's true. His headphones go on, on. My headphones go on my second monitor. I don't know if you're talking about this, but I don't even know if that's you or not. But. Um, yeah, it's just like a lot going on. The, he the setup itself, like I said, is fine. Um, just the stuff around you. I don't know what you really can do. You have theme and all that, but it's just a tough desk to work with. I, w I wish you had like a, a new desk or a better desk where you could probably, you know, operate better and uh, be able to make it look cleaner. But, you know, you're working with what you have and that's it. Cable management's fine. Uh, you know, he's got the, the boards in the back and you can see like the cables, but it seems like he knows what he's doing when coming to manage it. And, he, you know, a guitar stand would be cool, but then again, not the end of the world. It's leaning up against the, the amp, you know, don't have a lot of room, so that's that. But, yeah, uh, let's go to the final setup of the day, submitted by Joost, or Joost. Uh, he's 18 years old. He made uh, the desk himself and a lot of other things as well, like the controller, uh, the stand for his controller and the cover of the LEDs. Um, the cable management strip as well behind the monitor, so that little thing up there, he, uh, he made that apparently. And he's asking for some cool tips. Um, you're not the, you're not talking to the right guy when it comes to cool tips. Cause I'm, I always say the same thing. Like I regurgitate the same thing. Cause you can only be so unique unless you make something yourself. Like you are good at, you know, doing, making something yourself. Maybe you do try doing something yourself because this is the, you know, closer up photo showing the, you know, the nice monitor. I have that same exact monitor actually. It's very nice, uh, to say the least, but you know, very straightforward with that. And then this is the further back photo. It's an older, older photo, uh, older photo. And, uh, yeah, he's got like hats over there and like I don't know what this area to the left is for. It's got like storage and it has his PC too. So that's probably what he uses for storage and housing his PC. Um, but yeah, it's very like empty to say least. It seems like he could add more stuff, you know, without being like too much. Um, he's got the shelving above, which is like you should put something up there. You know, yeah, you can still get pop uh, figures or whatever, but I feel like you can get something that's like not ever to be put on a shelf. Like I don't know what else you're into. I mean, you're probably into gaming and all that. Maybe get something like a big action figure of some sort. Um, but like, I'm trying to be different with my recommendations, but it's tough, you know, because you don't have a lot of room on the walls and all that. You have your headphones connected. There's two, um, two headphones on the wall, which is cool. But I feel like you could have put them like, you know, just straight on, like against the side of the wall and then had more room to put something up there, um, like a poster or something like that, another shelf. But I feel like you could have used that right wall a little bit better. 
Is that a sound bar? It's not a sound bar. It's just, a, it's, it looks like just a shelving. Unless it is a sound bar. Is it a sound bar? I think it is a sound bar. It is a, okay. You guys, you guys got me. You guys got it. Okay. Yeah, it is a, uh, is a sound bar. Is that the best spot for it? Uh, I don't know. I th- usually, isn't it above? Like, but I guess it doesn't matter for a sound bar, but usually you have it below, right? Yeah, so I may be getting a shelf. If you were to move the headphone stands, uh, the headphone holders off to the left a little bit more and have that wool for more theme and all that, that'd be cool. Um, but, you know, overall usability is fine. He's got that cool controller stand that he made. I think that's cool. Um, he's got that tablet. I don't know how usable the tablet is, you know, just sitting there. But, uh, you know, usability is fine. Uh, he doesn't have, he has speakers, I think, right? Are those speakers off to the left? I can't even, can't even tell with this photo, but... I think those are speakers, and it seems like that left one is there, but then there's no right one. So, I don't know. It seems like confusing when it comes to audio, to say the least. Put the soundbar under the monitor. That's what I was thinking. I don't know if it matters, to be honest, but um, I would have put it below. But, you know, it's up to him. I don't know how the sound is for him. But, uh, yeah, I mean, very simple, though. Like, the chair is a blue chair. I mean, upgrades are cool with chairs and all that, but I think, you know, that's fine. Is a soundboard shelf, but I don't know if putting something on there would be would be beneficial to him. Um, but yeah, overall, you know, it did a good job. This, with the space he had, it seems like a very compact uh, room. He did a great job with, you know, the space he has. He, I think he has slanted walls, so it's tough for him to put something above that soundbar. But then again, I don't really know. The room is kind of hard to see for the most part. But I think he did an okay job overall. Great job, Joost, or Joost, or whatever your name is. I can't really say. It's with, with two O's, Joost, or something like that, but... Great job overall. Uh, you know, okay setups overall. I think last episode uh, was way worse. So, you know, this one was definitely better. Um, let's go over the scores, though. Pull this up. We got Andrew with a 64. We got Brandon with an 84. We got Brett with a 94. We got Mitchell with a 78. We got Ariel with a 70. We got Brian with an 82. We got Raymond with a uh, 78. And then we got Jost with a 86. So those are the scores. Uh, Brett did walk away with first place with a 94. He had theme and all that, but I feel like he can, you know, improve on, you know, just the little things and, you know, his setup would be nearly perfect. Um, but yeah, that's it for this episode, the final Tom Takeover episode, episode number 202, recorded live on March 9th, 2017. My name is Thomas Philly. You can find me on Twitter at Thomas Philly. Stay tuned for this episode on Sunday. Matt returns, and most likely with a guest. We uh, we will see. We will definitely see. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the flippity flop. Tom, don't do that. That's just not. That's not your. That's not your saying.